we're going to have a look at Faraday's law of induction. For this demonstration, we've got a ring which consists of many turns of copper wire. Regrettably, it's covered with tape so they're not visible. It was known that when electricity went around a conductor, it produced magnetism. People had made electromagnets before Michael Faraday came along. If the magnet sits stationary inside the coil of wire, no electricity is made and we can see that the meter needle is not moving. If the magnet is moved, the magnetic field within the coil of wire changes. And it is this changing magnetism that induces electricity. This is what Michael Faraday discovered. And notice that by moving the magnet in different directions, we produce electricity in either the forward or the backward direction. We can illustrate this with a bar magnet. The magnetic field of a bar magnet points away from the North Pole. And so we could imagine a series of magnetic lines coming from the north end with arrowheads pointing away from the North Pole and toward the South Pole. If I move that magnet into this conducting coil, I am increasing the number of magnetic lines that point in the direction I'm moving. So this is the reason that when I move a magnet in and out of an electric coil, I see my meter change directions and show me electricity moving first in one direction and then in the other. Another way to look at Faraday's law would be to produce electricity by induction and then use it. And so we've got an apparatus in which we have two coils, each of them placed vertically on the table. And above each coil is a magnet hanging from a spring. The magnets and springs are identical. If I move one of those magnets in and out of the coil, it will induce electricity. Second, we'll take a small battery and connect it to the second coil and see that when we put electricity into the coil, it produces a magnetic effect on the hanging magnet and the hanging magnet moves vertically. So now we'll connect the two coils with wires and start bouncing the first magnet so it moves up and down at its natural frequency, producing electricity at that frequency. So the motion of the first magnet will be translated to the second magnet electrically, and we'll see the second magnet begin to move at the same rate as the first magnet because we are inducing electricity in the coil. The magnet doesn't just sit there, the magnet has to move.